welcome to another exciting episode of Java with the Gyms. Good morning, Aya. Good morning, GM. How are you guys doing today? Fantastic. Yeah, how are you? Good, good, good. Um, I'm drinking coffee that's safe and honest, just like the Dalai Lama. Um, ladies and gentlemen, I would... Uh, do, Aya, do you have any questions of me today? <laughs> I do, Jim. So, okay. Question for you. So you got a lot, a lot of houses, got a bunch uh -huh. of them. Um, what would you do? Like, what would your approach be if the housing market crashed today? Well, you know, a lot of people say that the car, the housing market is going to crash. Uh, they're comparing this to 08. It's not that similar to 08 in the fact that back in 08, you had a lot of people with adjustable rate mortgages. When the rate went up, they lost their houses. The rates are going up. You're not losing your house. Why? Because you have a fixed rate loan. Most everybody has a fixed rate loan today, unless they're crazy. Uh, so they're not going to lose their house. So they have a choice to keep their house. And what we're seeing right now, um, I, you tell me in your neck of the woods, when you drive around, do you see a lot of for sale signs today? No. And here it's the same thing. People are just not selling the house because they got a 3% interest rate loan a year or two ago. Why would they sell if they don't have to sell? So they're putting off selling their house so it's not it's probably not going to crash we never know but if you think it's going to crash and say you own a double uh, a dozen houses you want to sell those houses and maybe put the money into a commercial property in south carolina uh i would say why not sell one a month it's like if you're selling your stock that's called dollar cost averaging you sell a bit of it a chunk of it every month for 12 months to sell one of your 12 houses every month, 12 months from now, if you found out you were wrong, isn't it better to find out you're wrong before you've sold everything? I don't know. I'm just asking. Does that answer your question, Aya? It does. That's a great answer, Jim. Awesome. And if somebody wants to, thank you, uh, buy 50, 60 units in South Carolina, who should they call? Oh, awesome. this girl right here. Aya. Okay. There you go. <laughs> cool. All right. Uh, Jim. If they're buying 50 or 60, selling 50, 60 houses, and then they're going to go buy stuff. They, they need to put everything in a trust. What does it cost to talk to you? I don't, I don't charge up front. Okay. Uh, I'm definitely not free, but our initial consultation comes at no charge. Awesome. Okay, cool. Uh, I, would you consult with somebody uh, if they called you? Just want to pick your brain about South Carolina? Of course, absolutely. Call awesome. me anytime. We would be more than happy to answer any questions you may have. Beautiful. Okay, we're going to see you guys again tomorrow for another exciting episode of Java with the Gems.